Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will use the Active Directory Administrative Center on a newly configured Windows Server 2022 domain controller to create an user accounts, groups, and OU. Press Ctrl or Delete key combination to sign into Windows Server 2022. Type the administrator account password and press Enter key. The system logs on the administrator user account and the server manager console will appear. On server manager console, click on tools and from tools, click on active directory administrative center. Using the active directory administrative center, we can graphically manage active directory objects such as users, groups and OUs. Here in the left hand side, in Active Directory Administrative Center, domain name will be available. In our case, it is must be noob. And here we can see that. Click on the domain name of which you want to add an Active Directory object. These are the built-in containers which are created by default and that you can see under the type. Okay. Let's create the OU first. OU is like a folder in Active Directory which is used to store all other Active Directory objects like users, groups and child OUs. To create a new OU, I'm going to click uh, here. But when you click here, whatever object you are creating that will be create under this built-in container. So if you want to create new object under this must be noob.lab, you need to right click here and select new and select OU. So you have to make sure that you are selecting the parent container properly. Okay. We want to create the OU under our domain name. And that's why I'm selecting OU from here. Let's click on it. Now these are the options which we need to fill up. Now the most important option is there, which is the name of that OU. So here I'm going to give the name marketing. Okay, and you can assign the name as per your organization's naming strategy. Okay, if you want to add any additional information like address, city, state, zip code, country, or you can also specify other information like who is going to manage this OU. Okay, the, uh, this is going to be the parent container where you are creating this OU. And here you can see the name in distinguished naming format. DC is equal to must be noob. DC is equal to lab and here this checkbox is selected that means even if you by chance or by mistake if you press the delete key it will prevent your OU from the deleting and that's why you can see the message protect from accidental deletion. To create this OU with the name marketing you simply need to click on this OK button. We can confirm that marketing OU is created successfully. To see what objects are stored under that OU, we need to click on the marketing. Let's double click on it. And now here you can see we are in Active Directory Administrative Center where under the domain must be noob. And under that domain, we are in a marketing container or you can see marketing OU. Now, if you want to create new user account under marketing, that time you can click here on a new and select the options, whatever object you want to create. First, we want to create user and that's why I'm going to click on user. Specify the first name of that user account which you are creating. Here I'm giving name as us. Uh, you can specify the middle name if you want. Uh, last name is going to be Patel. Okay, so user first name is as us, last name is Patel. So based on that, user's full name is going to be as us Patel. Now this is going to be the display name of that user. You can specify the custom user principal logon name for that user. So here I'm going to specify the name as us dot Patel. And after that you can see at symbol, uh, it is just look like an email address. So the user's user principal name is going to be as us dot Patel at must be noob dot lab. And this is going to be user same account name which is going to be must be noob slash as us dot patel. Then after we need to specify the password for that user account. 
Initially, you will specify the common password for that user account and you will inform that user about that password and then after uh, using that common password, user will log on to the computer and at the first sign in, user will change his or her password. Okay, and that option is selected by default. Then we have other information about that user account. If you want to specify organization information, that where is the office of that user, what is the email address of that user, what is the contact information, address and other informations are there like job title, department, company name and so on. So you can fill up this detail as per your requirement. Fine. At this moment, I'm not going to add this user into any kind of uh, security group. Uh, we just want to create this user account name as as Patil. I'm going to click on OK. And perfect, we can see the user name Azaz Patel has been created successfully. So this is how you can create multiple user accounts as per your requirement. Next, we are going to see how we can create groups under this OU. So let's click on new again. And this time we'll select group object. Similarly, you have to specify the name of that group. Here I'm giving name marketing team. And then after you have an option to select group type. Now there are two group types available in Active Directory, security and distribution. Security group will use for assigning a security on resources such as shared folders or printers. Uh, distribution group mostly used for email distribution purpose. You can't use distribution group type to assign security on resources. And that's why by default security options is selected. Then we have a group scope. Uh, I'm not going to discuss about group scope right now. We want to keep this video short and simple. Uh, domain local, global and universal. These are the three group scope. Then if you want to specify the email address and other details about this group, you can specify here. Okay. Now I'm going to click on OK. And this will create a group name marketing team under the OU marketing. Now suppose if you want to add uh, any user to a specific group, that time you simply need to click on that user. Let's double click on it. So the same window will appear to you, which we have seen while creating the user account. And here you can see under member of this domain users group is already listed. By default, whatever users you are creating in Active Directory, those will be member of domain users group. Now, if you want to add this user inside another group, that time you simply need to click on this add button. Click on advance, click on find now and select the group in which you want to add this user account. We have created a group name marketing team and I'm going to select that. Click OK. OK again. Perfect. But this is the users a secondary group. Click OK. Perfect. The user has been successfully added to that security group name marketing team. Let's confirm that. Let's double click on marketing team group name. And here we can see under members, we can confirm that our user as as Patel is listed as a group member. So that's the end of this lab in which we have seen how we can create Active Directory objects in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory using Active Directory Administrative Center. See you all in the next lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this.